Hey friends, thanks for tuning in. I'm Amanda and this is Rio the Green Cheek Conure. Today we wanted to talk a little bit about our Celti Parrot Carrier, the pack o -Bird version. I wanted to give you guys a little overview, a little review. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We are so glad to be back. Stay tuned. Since we do a lot of overlanding and a lot of car travel, we have really gone through the ringer with trying out every single option for the best experience for Rio. I can tell you right off the bat, out of all of them that we've tried, I don't think I could do life without this one. As many of you are aware, we took a few years off to go and travel and see the country, and it was probably, honestly, one of the best things that we could have done especially for the time frame that we were doing it because most people were inside, they were not mingling, and they were not seeing our national parks, which if you haven't been, I highly recommend you go. Anybody who says that travel is impossible with a parrot, they are wrong with a capital W. Let me introduce you to the Celti Paco Bird. This is actually the extra small version. If I were gonna order it again, which I plan to, I would probably size up to the small or the medium and then request the same size perch that's in the extra small Paco Bird. I really like this setup. It is super easy to clean and Rio absolutely loves being inside of it. A lot of people say that their birds take a long time to warm up to the Paco Bird carrier. This one went right in, no trouble, no problem, no hangups and loves it. So, a little bit about the design. It has a lot of zippers on it. And honestly, I think that the fact that it has a lot of zippers makes it an easier to use product. I can be out in the middle of Sedona and I need to clean it out first thing in the morning because obviously Rio's up before the rest of us eating sometimes late into the middle of the night with a midnight snack. This makes it an incredibly easy to use versatile bird carrier. So there's also a lot of Velcro and Velcro can be a problem. It does snag clothes, it does snag blankets, it does sometimes do a little scratchy scratchy business on the leather if you're not careful and you're too rough with it. But I have to say all in all with all of them that I've tried this one provides the path of least resistance to making sure that we all have an enjoyable time in the car and then it also is super durable and honestly holds up really well. I bought this I believe in 2020. It was probably August or September. I think it was more like summer so I think it was August of 2020. We have actually had this for two years now. This particular carrier has logged 100,000 miles easily. Here's Rio hanging out, just holding on for dear life. Rio has spent not all 100,000 miles in the carrier, mind you, but has spent a lot of time in this carrier. So as I was saying, it does have a lot of Velcro. It is super user friendly. It actually breaks down so that if you're gonna store it, you can unzip it completely and entirely, undo all the Velcro, and then end up making it totally flat so that it will store in your closet or under a seat in the car. Honestly, with all of them that I've used, this has the most user friendly ability to it. Can't say enough good things about it. Now, one thing that I wish is I wish it was more accessible. I wish that it was sold on a larger website like Amazon, and I wish that more people had access to it. Right now, they make these in small production batches, so you're looking at anywhere from a week to two weeks and sometimes four weeks if you order a special material for the outside of it. Now, I will tell you guys, I am going to be upgrading, and the reason that I'm upgrading to a small from an extra small really just boils down to the fact that Rio spends a lot of time in here while we're traveling and we do a lot of traveling. This would be a fantastic investment that you could use for going to the pet store or going to a relative's house on a holiday or going to the doctor for a vet visit. I can't 
say enough good things about this. Um, the entire design has like a mesh stainless steel that allows the bird to still see out while keeping the bird in. They do have the option for you to upgrade and make this material um, more user friendly for heavy chewers. Rio is what I would consider a heavy chewer because Rio is usually always doing something with that beak. Either my shirt's getting a workover, my hair's getting a workover, the wood chips that are parent safe in Rio's toy box are getting a workover, or the pinata is getting a workover, or the coconut kebabs. Honestly, I thought that was going to be an issue, and I did not upgrade. I thought that I was going to have to be upgrading, but when I reorder and I go with the small version instead of this extra small, I'm not going to ask for the heavy chew there either. Rio has been really content in this. Now, if your bird is like high panic and doesn't really do well on car rides or even short trips, you might want to go ahead and upgrade to the heavy chew option. You just really have to know your bird and know what to expect because they all have such individual and different personalities and you really just never know until you have it. So another feature about this is this top rolls down, which is fantastic. See, there's the little name. And the side parts of it, little sunshades, roll down and Velcro onto the side. And it does it on the side as well, but I'm not gonna do it because it's too far away and I'll have to move everything. Um, but this is wonderful for nighttime. So this is pretty much what our camping setup looks like in the car for Rio at night. This is really great for the summer, really great for spring, also really great for winter, really great for fall. It's quite a transitional type carrier and obviously if I just throw a little fleece around it myself that I already have or a Sherpa or a North Face coat, it locks in that temperature and heat and keeps Rio nice and cozy. So let's talk about the design of this. The bottom actually completely unzips, but this undoes down here. And if you are not familiar with this, and you do a lot of hiking, and you want to take your bird, this is a great option. These are actually backpack straps. It has a lower under the bust strap as well. They're all adjustable. You can throw the pack on your back and you can go. Um, I would highly recommend if you're buying this for camping or you're buying this for hiking and there's going to be lots of movement like with the overlanding, you know, me thinking that I didn't need to invest in certain things. They actually have a water bottle attachment. Normally I would never recommend a water bottle because bacteria can actually build up in the little straw function, but for this purpose, for camping, biking, hiking, traveling, I would highly recommend getting the little water bottle. It attaches to the outside and stick the water bottle nozzle straw through there and your water is contained and it's not spilling. One thing that's really good about this is this material is coated and it cleans up with a wet wipe. Super easy. Not a Lysol wipe, nothing harsh chemical, nothing toxic, but it definitely cleans up super easy. Also, the inside bottom of the cage comes out as well, it's held in by Velcro, and then you just pull it out, you can wipe it off with a Lysol wipe, let it air dry, and then return it to the cage so that your cage has a full bottom floor on it. If you were braver than me, you could probably just get away with using the bottom floor. I have a really hard time getting some of Rio's droppings off, and I really just wanted to keep this super nice, so usually I put a double set of paper towels in the bottom, which works as a nice little barrier. It also traps a lot of the pellet dropping and the seed dropping when Rio's in there just having a snack or two. I don't think we could have overlanded and traveled as much as we did without it. It is sturdy, but it also bends and shapes, so if you don't have a spot to put it in that it fits perfectly into, it's not a rigid structure, so it can kind of squish a little bit without causing harm to the bird. Um, it also comes with the bowls that are inside. It also comes with the perch that's inside. You can ask for a different size perch, but honestly the perch that's in the extra small is the right one for green cheek on your feet. It is the right size. It has held up wonderfully. I usually just take it out at the end of each week and give it a nice little clean, knock off all of the pellets, do some hot water and a towel, make sure that it goes back in nice, sparkling, spick and span.
Also, the bowls pop out super easy. It is kind of a pain in the rear when you're not really sure how they come out because you need to be looking at it. It makes it a lot easier if you're able to see what you're doing, but since I'm not, I'm just gonna kind of do it by feel. Each of these little coop cup bowls that come with the carrier have a nodule on two sides. I hope you can see that. But the coop cup carrier that's inside the cage that's bolted to the sides of it has the ability for it to hold the bowls so they don't bounce around while they're in there. It's up straight and then all you have to do is turn it until you find the nodule and then it goes back down inside. For added protection, you can roll the bowl. It also keeps little mischievous birds from grabbing a hold of the bowl and flipping it inside of the cage. So if your bird is slightly mischievous like this one sometimes is, that is a good way to prevent additional spills. I really, like I said, I can't say enough good things about this carrier. If I were going to do it again, which I am, I am planning on upgrading to a small just because we spend so much time in the car. Honestly, for a small green sheep conure or a pineapple conure or a turquoise conure or a cinnamon sheep conure, the smallest conure species out there or even budgies, this extra small is going to be the Cadillac version of anything that you need. Um, and maybe Cadillac's not your type of car. It could be the Mercedes Benz or the Land Cruiser 200 series, if you will. But it definitely is the primo carrier for your bird. And honestly, like I said, if you're going short distances and your bird's not sleeping in there at night, or you're just using it as a travel cage for day transports and it's short, little tiny interval trips, the extra small you can totally get away with. Now, this is one of the colors that they offer as an inclusion. So I didn't actually pay to upgrade. This is the gold version. I believe the other is like an army green, olive green. And when I upgrade, just so you guys can see the difference, I may go ahead and get the olive green. I'm not really sure. I've got to look at the options again, just to, you know, solidify what I'm going to do when I upgrade to the small. I may go ahead and upgrade to the medium. I haven't really decided. Um, Pam and I have been talking about it and we still want Rio to be able to fit perfectly on our console and the car in between both armrests because that seems to be a really good stable spot for Rio to sit. As you can tell, Rio has no problems with this. Rio is very adjusted and like they recommend on the website, you should probably have a small adjustment period for your bird where your bird gets to know the carrier before you just throw them in it to take them because you want to make sure that they are comfortable. Now, another reason that I'm upgrading is because the small and the medium versions both allow for the option of a toy to hang inside. Rio loves the coconut kebabs and Rio loves the parrot pinatas. So I would really like for Rio to have that as an option, especially early in the morning when Rio's up before us while we're overland camping, and I think that would be a wonderful addition to this carrier. However, once again, for short, small trips, vet visits, that type of thing, you really don't need a toy because your bird is probably going to be entertained enough with looking outside of the nest windows. The part about this carrier that I dislike the most is the price. It does take a while to get. That's probably my second biggest complaint. But I think for the quality and how well it holds up, honestly, you're not gonna find something better for the money. You're not gonna find something that suits your parrot better. You're not gonna find something that it works for so many options. Now, all of that said, I am going to have this one professionally cleaned. It is going to be back in nearly brand new shape. And I am going to order the small or the medium for real. So, if you think that you would be interested in the extra small version, I can actually sell you this one. I'll include a link. It will be on my Poshmark. And you can hop on there and purchase it if that's something that you'd like to have for your parent setup. I, once again, cannot say enough wonderful things about this. I wish it was easier to get a hold of. I wish it was quicker on the ship and make time. And I also wish that the price wasn't such an investment but it does hold up really well, and I think it is probably a parrot necessity. I am not sponsored or endorsed by them by any means. I did reach out to them. Their customer service maybe wasn't the most fantastic, 
Um, I've dealt with a couple of other companies that have been way more accommodating, but kind of really don't outweigh the niceness of this amazing travel cage. So once again, this one will be up on my Poshmark for sale. I'll include that down below um, above the comments. And then I will get back to you guys when I upgrade so that you can see the latest and the greatest for our longer overlanding trips and travels. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Rio and I will be back again next week with additional content for you. We are so glad to be back. Thank you for sticking with us. Remember, adopt, don't shop.